Hey, this is Dallin with Citizen Armor. Today we're going to be doing a side-by-side -side test of traditional aramid fiber, aka Kevlar, and Citizen Armor. We're going to hit these both with a few rounds, do a water test, dunk them in the water for a while, let them soak, and then hit them again. It's important to note that the aramid fiber armor is the same amount of layers as our armor is, and we are only testing aramid fibers. Uh, we'll do a side-by-side -side here. We're going to hit it with the 45 and 9 millimeter FMJ. We're going to dunk it in the tank for half an hour, pull them back out, and shoot them again, and see what happens. Now we're going to hit each piece of armor twice with the 230 grain 45 ACP full metal jacket. Uh, we'll put it in one more time to shoot it again, but if you can see here how the fibers are susceptible to pulling and distortion, and this is what actually weakens traditional aramid fiber armor. Let's go for one last shot. We hit both sides with the same ammunition, uh, both from the same distance, from the same gun, the same exact bullet. Just going to measure the back phase deformation to see how each piece of armor performed. 18.83, 19.16. Now for the aramid fibers, we have 44.2, 39.5, 39.6, 39.7, 39.8. Now we're going to hit it two times each with the 147 grain 9 millimeter FMJ. Let's hope it stays put this time. Once again, with just traditional aramid fiber, it's a lot deeper on the BFD. I mean, that's probably just, that's probably under 10 millimeters right here. Both sets of armor have been soaking for a little bit over a half an hour. We're going to pull them straight out, hit them with the same ammo again, and see what happens. Forty-five FMJ again. Put that on. Yep. Good penetration on both. With forty-five. After obviously we hit it a couple times before we soaked it, but for a forty-five, even though it is such a wide bullet. Both of them still clearly made it through. And as you can see with Citizen Armor, both have still been stopped. So if you take a look right here, you can see where both of these bullets penetrated the aramid fiber. This one right here, I mean, looks like it wasn't even stopped much at all. What we have here behind the plastilina clay is a layer of plywood. I don't know if you can see down in this hole right here, but there's actually chunks of plywood that have just been 
mean, blasted to pieces and thrown out the back of this hole. This bullet actually went through all the way, hit the metal, hit, went through the wood, hit the metal, and bounced out to the front of the hole again. So, I mean, these were screaming through, and these are, with, like I say, the 45, this have, has a wider cross section, uh, a wider area that's actually hitting the armor. Let's see what happens with the 9mm. Now we'll hit it with the 9. I mean, I'm sure this is going to go through, but we'll just hit the air mid fiber one time. We'll hit ours twice more. All the way through the plywood again. Probably bounced out here somewhere. And once again, we stopped it. These are the 9mm. And these are the 45. This is what Citizen Armor does to bullets, man. Oh, it bounced out somewhere. Oh! There's that 9mm that went through the aramid fiber. Again, looks like it wasn't even Dang. hardly touched. Throw it in the reload machine, reload it. So these two are from the aramid fiber that stopped it when it was dry. These two you can see pass right through the Kevlar. The only reason they're dented at all is by going through the clay and actually hitting the metal backing. Dented them a little bit, and some of them even bounced back out. You can see here the ones that were stopped by Citizen Armor. Every one of them stopped, whether it was wet or dry. I don't know if you can see through the lens there, but where these bullets have hit have actually caused a lot of stress in the fibers. And you can see the lines of the fibers being pulled all the way across, all the way across the armor. And this is just, this is pretty typical of aramid fiber. Um, again, I'm not trying to slam on it. It is uh, it's the the daddy of all soft armor, but. Citizen Armor is clearly the next generation. So just to take this test a little bit further, we're going to actually put the Citizen Armor back on the clay, hit it with a 357 SIG and the 44 mag. 357 SIG, full metal jacket. Dude, still nothing. And I hit it right in the same spot as the other one, man. I'm an idiot. I can't. I got my eyes just drawn towards another where the hole has been already. So yeah, once again, no penetration after eight shots of the 45 and the nine mil. After dipping it for half an hour and bringing it back out, um, 357 sig still not going through. Now we'll hit it one last time with the 44 mag, 240 grain, jacketed hollow point. See what happens. Well, as you can see, it blasted the armor off out of the straps, but still no penetration. Twenty four millimeters for the three fifty seven SIG. And thirty two point three for the forty four mag. Now keep in mind this is after it's been already been shot eight times. So we've hit the Citizen Armor two times with the 45 and two times with the 9 when it was dry, twice more with each caliber after dunking it for half an hour. Then we hit it with the 357 SIG and the 44 mag, and no penetration throughout any of the shots. I'm not sure if you can see the 44 mag right here. Mushroomed out a bit, definitely did not go through the armor. And this just shows the versatility of Citizen Armor, whether it's wet or dry does not affect the stopping power. So I was talking with my camera guy Russ and we were thinking we should hit our armor with the Winchester Ranger Plus P Plus. 
the 9mm. It packs a little bit more punch than the traditional FMJ, so we'll hit it twice and see what happens. We hit it two more times with the Winchester Ranger Plus P Plus. Stop both of them as you can see. And we're still good. So we hit, we started testing out the Aramid fiber next to the Citizen armor. We hit both pieces of armor with two rounds of the 9mm FMJ, two rounds of the 45 FMJ. Dunked them both for half an hour, brought them back out. We hit the Aramid fiber with two rounds of the 45, they zipped right through. We hit it one more time with the 9 just to see what would happen. Of course it zipped right through, so we just stopped testing it. It was just going to keep doing the same thing. With ours, we hit it with two more of the 45. Same, uh, same performance, two more of the 9 FMJ. Stopped it again. We went ahead and hit it with a 357 SIG. Stopped it. 44 mag. Stopped it. And then just for fun, we went and hit it with the 9mm uh, Ranger Plus P Plus. Stopped both of those.